those are the two arguments that form your answer. I repeat. The question is evolutionism versus creationism. It depends on who are the people who are challenging evolution. Secondly, what aspect of evolution you are challenging. In the first case, see primarily, primarily when uh, the idea of evolution was given by him, uh, that was a challenge to the established religious organization of the church. So generally what happens is a hypothesis might emerge from various reasons. A hypothesis might emerge from various reasons. He must not have come to this hypothesis accidentally. He must not have come to this hypothesis accidentally. Maybe he was not happy with the church. Maybe he was not happy with the church, wanted to challenge the church. And in doing so, he must have used his knowledge of biological sciences to put across a view that puts church down. So there are always social conditions for scientific theories to emerge. There are social conditions for scientific theories to emerge. When he was inventing the tape recorder, his idea was basically, he, he had the necessity, the necessity was to listen to his daughter's words again and again. In order to preserve the words uttered by his daughter, he had invented the tape recorder. So what is happening there? There is a social necessity. As it is said, necessity is the mother of invention. He had a necessity. The necessity was to challenge the church. And in order to do that, he had come up with such a theory which for centuries kept on challenging any such religious establishment. 